Hi, this is Ryan Gibbons of the Gibbons team at eXp Realty. And today I wanted to give you the top five things that buyers need to do when they are just getting started looking to purchase a home. Thanks for watching. I do a lot of videos to educate buyers and sellers here in the Bergen County, New Jersey area. So if you're interested in purchasing or selling a home, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with all of the great information that we share here on a regular basis. So here are the top five tips for buyers getting started in the buying process. The first thing that you're going to want to do is get a wants and needs list. And what this is, is really just the things that you absolutely need in a home and the things that would really be nice. So how many bedrooms do you need, depending on the size of your family and guests coming in? How many bathrooms do you need? Do you need specific rooms in the house? Do you want a den or an office or a basement? Do you need an attic for storage? Do you want a garage, a two-car garage? What are your absolute needs in having that property? And then what are your wants? Do you really want a big fenced-in yard? Because maybe you're going to get a dog someday. Maybe you want a nice garden. Maybe you want a porch. Figure out those things that are absolute needs and wants. And honestly, that list is going to change as you start getting out. Some things are going to be added and deleted from that list as you get out and actually see houses. The second thing that you're going to want to figure out is your location. Have you narrowed down the towns and the communities that you want to purchase in? So you want to be looking at your commute time. Are you traveling into the city? Is getting on a bus or a train or driving in going to be a deciding factor for you? Or do you work local or work from home? So think about that location in terms of where you're going on a regular basis. And also think about the amenities that you want nearby. Do you want to have parks nearby? Are libraries important? Tennis courts, basketball courts, things like that. What is important to you in the location of your house? Do you want to be near a downtown? Do you, want to, do you like to go shopping? Or are you a foodie and like to get out to restaurants? You know, think about those things when you're starting to narrow down that search. And really getting out and actually seeing those areas is going to make a big difference in how you view different areas when you're looking. You're also going to want to consider schools. Now, whether you have children or not, it's still something that you want to think about because maybe you are planning on having children in the future. Now, this is something that's very personal and it will change for every particular person. So I might view a particular town or a particular school as a great school, but you might have different criteria. So you're going to want to do your research. You're going to want to look at places like great schools. You're going to want to get the school report cards to see class sizes and school reports um, you know, on graduation rates and test scores and things like that. So you can be educated and figure out what schools and what areas are going to be important for you. And to go along with the location idea, do you want your kids to be able to walk to school or have a short trip or get on a bus? You know, keep in mind all of those things when you're doing that research for your schools. And the number one thing that a lot of people don't think about is their budget. So most people will go to a lender, they'll get a pre-approval letter for say $500,000 and they'll think, okay, great, we're going to go out, we can afford $500,000. But what does that really mean to you? So I always tell my buyers the most important thing about purchasing a home is actually the monthly payment. It's not about the price of the home. Obviously, you want to pay the right price, but the most important thing that you're going to look at is the budget of what that payment is every single month. And there's four things that go into that. You're paying your principal, your interest, your taxes, and your insurance. So you want to understand those things when you're getting that budget. And you can talk to your lender and know if I buy this house at $500,000 with $12,000 taxes, what will my monthly payment be? And that is super important because that's your living expense. The bank may say that you're good for $500,000, but does that fit your life? Are you able to save? Are you able to go on vacation? Are you able to go out to dinner? Whatever those things that you enjoy doing, you need to budget those things in. So when you're looking at that number, you really should be doing a household budget. What are your fixed costs? What is the cost for food and car and saving and student loans and whatever else that you need to pay on a monthly basis? So if you do a household budget, it'll give you a very good idea of how much you can spend on your housing. So during this process, you're going to want to talk to a reputable lender. So if you have a real estate agent, I would recommend you talk to that person. Maybe you talk to me and you get some recommendations and you try and find that right lender that will give you a good idea of what you're going to pay every month and give you good terms and service for that loan. And the last thing that you're going to want to do is find a good local agent. You're going to want to have someone that's going to be 
educating you on the process that has been through it and is going to be able to help you and know what's coming and educate you on what's coming. I would love to interview for the position of being your realtor. So if you are looking for a house in the Bergen County area in North Jersey, I would love to talk to you and give you some examples of how I've helped first time buyers, second time buyers, move up buyers, move down buyers, get to where they want to be. So if you'd like to talk about what I can do to help you find that great home, please give me a call. My number is 201-446-8190. And if you like the information I'm sharing here, please hit the subscribe button. We share a lot of information on here for being both buyers, sellers, and just general information about Bergen County. So hit that subscribe button. Check out all the other information that we have. I hope you've enjoyed this video and have a great day.